okay. We are streaming. We are. Okay. Good morning, friends. Good morning, everybody. Okay, I am Sorry recording. Sorry, we're a few minutes late here. That is entirely Donna's that fault. That is totally my fault. Archer and Olive had a fall release this morning, and it opened at 9 a.m. And as you all know, those are my favorite notebooks on the planet, and they're so cute. They had little coffee and books, and they had little pumpkins. And anyway, it was a good morning. Oh boy, everyone has decided to arrive and says hello and good morning and hi. How are we, friends? Hello, hello, hello. We're going to try something new with the comments today. Mm. Oh, that's right, yeah. Apparently, I have been a little behind in reading the comments. Yeah, Donna's sometimes 15 minutes behind, so you guys don't know that she's reading your comments because yes. she's reading them so late. Yep. Um, the weather by us is phenomenal this morning, Galactic Pencil. Phenomenal. It's in like high 60s and a little cool breeze. Um, Can you guys hear the music? So I am playing the soundtrack from My Hero Academia. Uh, again, donated by Sony, which was really nice. But I'm playing it on the record player speakers, which yep. are Bluetooth. Yep. Um, so let me know. Let me know if this is too loud, too soft, or what. Well, of course, I think the song just ended, but... Of course it did, because you're talking about it. Okay, there's a new one. We have several people who are excited that it's sla you're doing Slash. Um, you're an inspiration. Thank you. First time managing to join a stream. Welcome. Scott, I'm having problems with portraits. I just suck at it. What do you think I should do? Um... Just remember that tracing is a tool. Use it if you're having problems uh, getting your likenesses. Otherwise, really, it's just a lot of practice. You get better. I mean, I've been doing this for 40 something years and I'm still learning every day. Uh, there's stuff that I'm constantly, so it, it's really about how much do you wanna do portraits compared to how much do you enjoy doing portraits. So if it's really something that you want to get better at. Okay, we're cutting you off. Okay. Um, okay, so who's your favorite beetle? Mine is Ringo. Ringo's a good choice. Um, they want to know what you're drawing today and what your paper is. Uh, I am drawing Slash from Guns N' Roses and uh, the paper is uh, the Arches Hot Press, 3.9 by 9.8 inch watercolor paper. Some people are saying it sounds much better than yesterday. Some people are saying that it's fading in and out, but very low. Okay. Um, what made you like drawing so much? Um, I think it was just something I was good at. And I think there's a, a, <laughs> a feeling of um collecting like if i draw something it's kind of like now i own that thing in a way um whether it's a place that we go or a person or my favorite character from a movie it's kind of like collecting if that makes any sense <laughs> rivi sent us a tip and says donna we don't apologize for being late here with a little heart thank uh, you you're sweet um hi from wisconsin hello some people are coming back after a long time of being away from the stream. How are you doing today, honey? Doing okay, thank you. Um, we uh, It's funny because Donna made us join late and I'm gonna have to leave a little early today because yeah, I've sorry. got a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. and it's up in Nashville or above Nashville. Yeah, so got so a it's bit quite of a, drive. a drive. Yeah, it's about a 45 minute drive. So, so do you have some drawing tips for beginners? Um, draw everything every day. That's my favorite tip. Do you have a favorite color? Uh, paint's gray. Um, it's pretty soft in the music, but I can still hear it. All right. Um, we don't want it to overpower us. But well, we want nothing could least... overpower me, so yeah. we're worried about you, really. But we want it to feel like at least there's not this this crushing dead silence. <laughs> yes, he did it. <laughs> KFAR loves Guns N' Roses and was the comment that made you want to do it. <laughs> um, Scott's favorite color is Payne's Gray. 
Hey, Gail's here. Hey, Gail. It is Slash from Guns N' Roses, Gail. Let's see. You're such an inspiration, Scott. I love to draw along with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> when you said music from MHA and I was screaming because I love it, how... Um, oh, the tea for the day is the Herod's tea. That is my morning tea, folks. Um, that's just been pretty much my staple lately. I'm t I will tell you, I found this one on line called bohemian breakfast and it was on some ad somewhere and i was like well, you know what i'm gonna try that it's fantastic it is a middle of the day tea it i put a little bit of the brown sugar creamer from trader joe's in it it is phenomenal all right so i want to show you guys something which is really cool so sony also sent me some records can yeah you see this okay yes we can only a part so of it that's okay i'll be playing these at, at some other point. Mm -hmm. So we got Outlander by Bear McCreary. Our favorite. Composer. We have Spider-Man mm -hmm. by Danny Elfman. We have Casino Royale by David Arnold. Mm -hmm. And we have Cowboy Bebop. But I don't know who the... It says performed by the seatbelts. So uh, I don't know if it is double LP pressed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So we'll try this out too. Okay, we've got a lot of questions here, so let's get moving on some questions. Okay. So we're not behind again, because you know how I get behind. Um, have you watched My Hero Academia? I have not. Um, Scott, what is your favorite drawing? Um, there's a drawing that I saw when I saw the Alphonse Mucha mm -hmm. exhibit. It was a black and white drawing, and I mm -hmm. fell in love with it, and I cannot find Oh, I hate it when it that happens. Anywhere. Yeah. But uh, that really kind of hit me. Scott uses a zebra brush pen. That is what he is using to do that. Um, the paper that is in your travel journal, what kind of paper is that, my dearest? It is, uh, for the, the Be Creative, it's 100% cotton paper. It is, I think, superior to the arches. I just like it so much because it's it's got a little more texture than the hot press and a little less texture than the cold press. It's just right. Um, okay, those records are so cool. Will you take part in the Inktober challenge this year? I I usually do something like Spooktober or something like that. I there was so much controversy surrounding Inktober that I'll yeah. probably do it but just call it something else. Um no, Moon of Dreams is going to draw a red panda. Woohoo! Yay! Don't forget to tag me. I'm painting along with watercolors today. Is the Windsor and Newton Cotman set worth it? I think so. It's twenty five dollars. It's literally the same mm -hmm. kit that I have. I just have the professional paints mm -hmm. in there. I just put my own paints in there, really. So um, can... Scott actually does like Posca markers in certain situations. If you watched yesterday's video, he painted our son's welding helmet. Yes, our son is old enough to weld. Don't get me started on how much I hate the fact that he welds. Um, it's just too hot, like 3,000 degrees. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, um, the I Posca use... markers were great because they were on plastic. Yeah, so I think Posco is mm -hmm. great depending on the material that you're painting. On. Correct. It's always smart to look at your materials and see figure out what works best for you in that situation i like, also used poscas when i did um the controller the controller Correct. yeah mm -hmm. and and believe it or not i drew my hero academia with poscas did you yep hmm. intriguing um it does make a difference the materials do make a difference for sure and as i'm sure you've heard us say on so many occasions, the paper is important. Um, draw a red panda, JBWRT, a red panda. Do you have a favorite artist, honey? I have several. Um, I, it's it's impossible for me to pick just one, but they range from Drew Struzan to mm -hmm. J.C. Leyendecker mm -hmm. to Alphonse Mucha to mm -hmm. John Buscema. Maxwell Parrish. Maxwell Parrish, so mm -hmm. many. Um. Donna will always tell you to draw a red panda. Yes, we remember Octavia from last year. Um, I'm assuming people are definitely going to want you to do that. Um, is Slash your favorite member of Guns N' Roses? Uh, yeah, I, He's I the really cutest. I really only know him and <laughs> Axl Rose, and I think definitely Slash um, is cooler. He's got that 
But, you That's know, I, I wasn't a huge Guns N' Roses fan no. when they came out. I was really more into Def Leppard, mm-hmm. Bon Jovi. Um, Would you ever try acrylic paints again? Yeah, I actually pulled them out for my son's helmet, um, mm-hmm. but they just didn't go on to the plastic as well as the Poscas. Yep. But yeah, if the if the the need arises, I have them. I literally cried when I saw you paint your son's helmet. That's so wholesome and cute. You're a great dad. Oh, thanks. I wish you guys could have. It looked so good in the video, but it looked amazing in person. Amazing. And how cute is it that he wanted like a. A character from his dad's comic book. Like, how well, the, the 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 cool thing is, is that he originally wanted me to do Medusa, which he had the sticker of from yep. from the uh, the hair, the hair journal. journal. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then right before I started, he goes, "Wait, Nicodemus, why yeah. didn't I think of that before?" Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cute. Um, okay, um, so the pen he's using right now is a zebra brush pen. We buy those on JetPens.com. Um, what do you do? There's a video on art block, um, A T O K, um, in the art hacks playlist, check that out. And then A T O also says you're a walking legend among us. You inspire me a lot and made me continue drawing at times. I've been drawing for 13 years. That's so nice. What watercolors should a broke student that can't afford really nice ones buy? Well, I really like those ones that I tried out from Mia, but I think they're still oh, sold out. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, we are uh, unhappy with that situation. I mm. would say this. Get the cheapest watercolors you can get, but get good paper. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did paint gorillas with the Artex markers. Does my color blindness make me a less talented artist? No. No, 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 no. Um, art... You could be a sculptor. You could mm-hmm. do black and white drawings. You could paint in the colors that you see. Mm-hmm. Um, all that matters is that people are inspired by your vision and your art. Mm-hmm. You know, you have a unique perspective on the world. You have a unique way of seeing the world. Show it to to the world. Mm-hmm. Show people. Yep. Did you have a favorite TV show when you were younger? Oh, so many. Uh Six Million Dollar Man, Happy Days, mm-hmm. uh, Spider Man. Yeah. Um, gosh, mm-hmm. so many great shows. Bugs Bunny, Speed Racer. Caesar bought the zebra brush pens the other day. Oh, fantastic. Um, what is the most expensive paint that you have? I, I don't recall one particular, like, uh, tube of paint that I might have yeah. paid for, but I would probably say the Windsor Newton is probably the most expensive, but it's only at most $8 yeah. a tube. And they last me for a year. Um, I'm going to answer this one, Mocha Rain. We are working on a coloring book, potentially, so we will let you know what comes up with that. Um, okay, I don't know what this is, but this is some cool music. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Um, can one of the mods put a link to the Discord in? I'm sure you guys have seen them. Are you planning to do more art giveaways? I missed the Spider-Verse one. Uh, yeah, I, I will always give away art when I can. Um, it really just depends on um, mood. Donald, you know. where should I draw the red panda? Well, on a piece of paper, I think. Or you could draw him in a tree if that's what you mean. Like, how should he do that? Um, okay, so I have a different question. How do you do different types of beards? My art style after watching resembles you a lot, and I love it. Thank you so much. Also, any cheaper version of the brush pen you use, I use Faber-Castell markers. Um, I don't know. These are only $2 each. But... Yeah, well, they're $2 US. They may be more yeah. in other countries. Um, the hard part about us having you guys here from other countries is we don't know what the prices of things are in your country. So that's the different um, thing. Um, how do you do different types of beards, honey? Do we have something like that on the Art Hacks I don't have one particularly on beards, but um, really I, I tackle each one differently based on how they look. So I, I would look at some of my portraits, um, whether it be like Santa Claus, uh, go to the hair journal and you can actually watch the lives. There was mm-hmm. uh, an Indian man, there was the the the, the Viking. Mm-hmm. There was um, 
don't know if there was another person with a beard, mm -hmm. but um, you can watch me do it live and see how I tackle different beards. Um, yeah. I've done people with stubble. I've done yeah. people with short beards, with long mm -hmm. beards. Go and look at the lives and you can watch it. That would be the best way yeah. to, to kind of learn is to watch me do it because I don't really have a technique because I don't do beards so often that I've kind of developed a style for it. So I yeah. kind of wing it every time. Do you have a favorite Spider-Man suit? You know, it's funny because I love the traditional Steve Ditko version, mm -hmm. but I fell in love with the black Spider-Man suit that he got in uh, Secret Wars uh, issue eight. Scott does not speak any other languages. And let's see. The mods will put a link to the Discord in. Also, if you guys ever want links to my other stuff, including the Discord, mm -hmm. just go to the About section of the YouTube channel. And all of my links, whether it be Snapchat or Instagram or mm -hmm. threads or whatever, or they're all there. There is a video on Art Block, so check the Art Hacks playlist for that. Scott has drawn Jack Sparrow so many times. Yeah, our kids are really into yeah. Pirates, Pirates of the, of the Caribbean. Caribbean. So I've yeah. drawn him and uh, Davy Jones. And What's the hardest part of painting portraits? Getting the likeness right. Yeah, each dollar is higher priced in India. Yeah, I there's nothing that we can do um, with that. Um, so I found yeah. the zebra brush pens mm -hmm. by trial and error. So I tried oh, a whole did. bunch of different pens. He tried pens, so many. And, and I would paint over it and go, nope, this one's washing away. This one's this, this one's that, or this one's too hard, mm -hmm. this one's too soft. So I found right. the one that was right for me by trying it. And mm -hmm. so if you live in a country that doesn't have these, try. I know it's not cheap. If but you go to an art store, a lot of times they will put pads of paper out and you can try the pens on a pad of paper before you buy them. Yeah, and you might be able to ask mm -hmm. the the people who work there if they've used them and if they're waterproof or, or Exactly, or whatnot. you'll be able to talk to them and ask them. Um, it will be for watercolor. It will be on watercolor paper. If we do the coloring book, which we are leaning towards, it will be watercolor paper. It will probably not be 100% cotton watercolor paper like what Scott uses because price wise, come on. But it will be considered watercolor paper. Um, that doesn't mean you can't use colored pencil on it or another medium on it, but it will be watercolor paper. Um, let's see. What do you admire most about your wife? Oh, okay. And what do you <laughs> admire most about your husband? Oh. I admire the compassion that she has for people and the way that she's able to empathize um, with people um, in ways that I never could. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I love that she wants to grow old with me and um, grow better with me. I love how... Sorry, ran out of time. Next yeah, one. Nope, my turn. I love how... Um, I've always loved how creative Scott is, but I love to watch how he comes up with ideas and thinks about things. And I'm always... Even 35 years later, it marvels me that he'll go, so I had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm always like, you don't say. So, but he never ceases to amaze me with um, his ideas and how, like the things that he can come up with. It's amazing. Um, but I think my favorite quality about him is um, how much he loves his family. And he has made me be a better mom. And he is the most amazing dad. Um and yeah. yeah, that's it. Um, Scott does have a Discord. Um, let's see. Okay, this person's been doing a lot of realistic portraits and just can't get a realistic skin color. Can you help? Um, well, I have uh, one for skin color uh, for watercolors. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a video on that in the Art Hacks playlist. Uh, if you're doing markers, I've done a couple of videos about that too. It really depends on your palette and your the, the medium that you're using. Okay, I'm a 12-year-old artist who got the idea to create the term 
sketch books, not a typo, where you can use an old school notebook all the way to a nice sketchbook to doodle and practice. Thoughts? That's interesting. I think it's cool. Yeah. If you're using an old notebooks and stuff, it's better for the environment, which I think is awesome. Yeah. I know you like painting hair, but does that also mean you like painting fur? Uh, yeah. You know, we did the the thirty days of drawing the national animals, mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool. But you know, every single animal had different kind of fur, so there was really no consistency. Um. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I love drawing animals. Does the zebra brush pen smudge after applying it immediately to the paper? No. See. Mm -mm. It dries pretty much immediately. Yeah. Um, let's see. Got to see the live on my work break. I'm so happy. Oh, good. What do you both aspire to be? Better. If I could be one thing in the world, I would love to be a philanthropist. I would love to be able to give to other people and help other people. Um... And yeah, better than I was a, as a person yesterday. The older we get, the less we want and the more we want to be able to help other people. Um, yeah, thanks to the mods for always being so awesome and helpful in the chat. Appreciate you all. We appreciate you all too, so very much. Um, thank you for sharing so much. I watched the Art X playlist yesterday. The one thing I really want to thank you for is permission. Permission to try, to fail, to try again and trust the process. Oh. That's fantastic. That's great. Yeah, you know what? If there's one thing I could do better than any other artist is fail spectacularly. And I don't mind doing it anymore. It used to bother me, but I think I'm just at the point now where it's I'm like, ah, eh, better luck next time. Sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He's oh, running around. do not get in trouble if you're watching us at school. What animal do you think you're most like? Most like? Yeah. Um, geez. I would probably, I'm trying to think of. I don't know. I'll say a dog. One up girl says I used Payne's gray in a painting I did last night and I can see why Scott likes it. It's so good. What is Scott's opinion on classical music? Not really a fan. My dad loved oh, it. Boy. And so I was always around it, mm -hmm. but I just never got into it. Yeah. His dad. I, you know, loved I, but, it. but I mean, I was a teenager during the eighties. How could mm -hmm. I like classical music? Yeah. Like the closest I got to classical music was Falco. <laughs> Scott, when I use my zebra brush pen for outlining, it always seems to fade as I use my watercolors. Any advice? Um, I, I don't know if it fades as much as the, um, you might be doing a little too much pigment. So that was kind of happening to me on um, the flock of seagulls. You see how the, the black is a little faded? That's because I went over it with a little too much yellow. And sometimes that happens. And so when that happens, I just go back over it again. You know, like a little kind of touch up. Okay, hold on one second. Well, at least we have music while Donna I am Snapchats or I am not Snapchatting. I am talking to our son who is going to be leaving soon. Uh, Donna doesn't with, even have Snapchat. It was just funny to say. Donna doesn't even know how to use Snapchat. I hell I barely even know how to use the 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 social media I have. Is it hard to concentrate when there is a lot of noise when you draw or does it help you to focus? No, it makes it very hard to concentrate. Um that's why he wears headphones a lot of yeah. the time. Yeah, and, and and when you see me wearing headphones out in public, mm -hmm. um, I never have music on. Mm -mm. It's he always just has the noise, noise canceling. canceling. It's just yeah. so that I can still hear everything that's going on. It's just yeah. squelched down a little bit. Yeah. Um, 
When you draw things by reference, do you usually use one reference or multiple? And if multiple, how do you incorporate the separate ones to make it not look awkward? Oh, um, that's a I, great question. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good. I, I about ninety percent of the time, I will just use a single reference. Um, sometimes I, I need to use multiple references, and uh, when that happens, I do a lot of pre drawings. So you you work all of that out on a separate piece of paper, not on the the final paper, because so much can go wrong. Is it hard? Being an artist in India is a hard job. Parents won't let them become an artist. Yeah, I've I've heard. You know that. what? It's not just in India. It's everywhere. I was very lucky that. <clears throat> it's not everywhere because you know I'm sure that there are countries where arts are more like say France or something like that you know where arts are a little bit more encouraged um, well but yes different but cultures think, but there's there will always be parents in every parents, yeah, country yeah but I'm saying but that, culturally oh um, culture well I wasn't like, going like say for... maybe India or Germany or China where um the, where know, it's more more like maths and doctors that they would and be, stuff. Yes, yeah, correct. you know what I'm saying. That like that's, I understand. That's a, that, that could I be understand. just a cultural thing, and you know you can't really do much about it. But yeah. there is amazing art coming from yeah. India. Yeah, we just we just watched um, Nimona on Netflix, and that was done by Anna. I can never say the Anapura. It's a, it's an Indian uh, animation studio, and it was wonderful. Yeah. Um, there are. It, it might culturally be frowned upon, um, but where would where would India be without the amazing art? Look at was it Raja Rami Va, Raja? Oh yeah, Raja Rami. Ra, Ra, blah, blah, blah. Let me I look paint, it paint. I painted. I I, I you Let know in in the studying the masters. Yeah. Uh, Raja Raja Raja. Okay, do another question or something, <laughs> and I'll find it. Um. But um, you know, where would India be without the art? You know? Yeah. Do you have any tips on improving line work? When I see you do your line work, it looks so confident. Um, you know, it, it's, it's um, the confidence is very recent. Um, Raja Ravi Varma. Raja Ravi Varma, mm -hmm. yeah. Jatayu I mean, fights Ravina. Yeah. That's what we did. But yeah, uh, you know, you, you, um, the confidence is something that you eventually get. And that just comes from practice. Mm -hmm. um, Derek says, I watched Animal Crackers the other day and it was a great movie. Thank you so much. Thanks. We loved making that movie. Yeah, we did. Mm, let's see. Yes, Raja Ravi Varma. Yep. I am a, an aspiring realistic artist, but I have difficulty with hair. What do you think is a good way to start? Oh, um, well... The, the way that I do hair isn't really realism, um, but uh, I you love... You always said it was like ribbons. Hair was yeah, like ribbons Yeah, too. I've got some, some videos on that if you want to look. There are videos on how I do hair. But yeah, I kind of see it as ribbons. People really underestimate the importance of art. It's affected so much in the world. I yeah. would agree with that statement. And, you know, I will tell you this, too. I would not be... My family growing up was not really art-focused. And it they just were not surrounded by art. And so um, being able to see art from Scott's perspective, and I have a completely different um, view of art. I love going to museums and looking at art. I love looking at oil paintings and seeing the the way that they move the paint. I like impressionism and you know, it's just what you're around and what you're what you surround yourself with. Yeah. Um how do you fix mistakes with your line work? Um I I got a couple of videos on that. Um there was the one where I I, I use gouache when mm -hmm. it's when it's a really big mistake. Yeah. Uh, so I've got one where I did that on Meryl Streep, and I did one where I did that with Rico uh, the dog. Yes. And so there's two videos on that. But mm -hmm. otherwise, if it's something like what would have just happened here, 
if it's minor, mm -hmm. I'll just go around it and just accept it. You know, um, that that's the best. But if it's something that where it's like, gosh, like I just kind of like went zap like that, mm -hmm. I'll do my painting, just finish my painting and ignore the line and then come in at the end with gouache and cover it up. Mm -hmm. No, Scott does not speak any other languages and... People, the, I barely speak English correctly, so come on. The time frame for us um, for making Animal Crackers was about... Three years. Three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. from 2014 to 2017. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do when you're not drawing? Um, I'm usually making the... I'm editing the videos, writing the videos. Mm -hmm. um, walking. Walking. I like to walk a lot. Mm -hmm. and uh, Or playing Zelda, though I haven't played Zelda mm -hmm. in a couple days. Or doing stuff for your boys since they're home. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, Logan and I were looking at uh, trying to replace the shocks on uh, Esmeralda. Okay, Abby says, I know you do mainly watercolor, but what do you recommend for thinning heavy body paint? Thank you so much for everything you do, not only your art, but being open and honest about boundaries. Bethany, can you answer that one from Abby Grayson? Because I don't know that we would know. Yeah, I tried heavy body paint yeah. and didn't like it. And yeah. Other than um, water, but I'm sure that there we're are gonna, materials. Yeah, so we're going to let Bethany answer that, Abby. Um, and also any questions on oil paint, Yuki, Elena, or acrylics. Yeah. That would go to Bethany because she's our resident, um, oil painter. All right. We are going to do the can, wedding. Yep. We're wedding at first. How about if you don't have gouache or don't use paint? Um, doggy boy. What do you mean? How about if you don't have gouache or don't use paint? Like if you just sketch with a pen or draw with a pencil? And what's your, what question do you oh, have about it, that? Was it pertaining to the... Um, no, it just says, how about if you don't have gouache? Maybe it was paint. pertaining to the, if you make a mistake with your inking. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Is that pertaining to your inking question? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to need to... Should I let it soak a little bit? Um, we love it when people join the Discord, so don't apologize for that. Um, I mean, like for erasing line work, what if you don't have gouache or don't have paint? Yes. Um, it, well, if, if you're, you can't erase it without ruining the paper. So you have to cover it up. So it's either gouache, which is paint, mm -hmm. or it's, you can get, um, Dr. Martin's bleed proof white. If you're going to just leave it black and white, you've got, I mean, there's a ton of white inks or white yeah. you know cover-ups to be mm -hmm. white out you can do yeah. that kind of stuff and um i've got another one here i'm drinking the harrods um knight's bridge blend today all right i'm gonna blow dry this um so we do have to leave in about 15 minutes so i'm not gonna be able to finish this live but i'm you know i think we're getting pretty yeah far the table's along, so. only about eight um, years old blow dry? go ahead yeah, Scott's table's only um, eight years old. The hot press paper he's using right now is Arches paper. interesting question do you make royalties based upon each view of animal crackers on netflix or how does that work i've often wondered about how many other creators and talent i watch on streaming no um the way that streaming works nope. is they buy the rights and that's it they don't mm -hmm. they do not play, uh, pay royalties nope they don't and um since we had investors on the film the money went to pay back the investors so we get nothing out of it yeah other than so. just the knowledge that it was a job mm -hmm. well done. Well, and it's something that we will forever be super proud of that yeah, we did, yeah. you know? I mean, nobody can take away the fact that that's something that we made. Yeah. Uh, tea. We are a tea household. I mean, don't get me wrong. I will have a cup of coffee, but uh, we are a tea household. I don't like the smell of coffee. He really doesn't. My sister was trying to use a kneaded eraser as a normal eraser and was mad because it wasn't erasing. <laughs> 
Um, my watercolors have started to bleed into one another. How do I fix it? Blow dry in between each pass. See, watch. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to blow dry this, so blow dryer. Okay, hold on. Let me, okay. Okay, hold on, let me unmute you. All right. So now I can take you, another Why did pen. you wet the paper So I, I, I mentioned this in uh, Monday's video, mm -hmm. but um, the, the, cold, the hot press paper doesn't really absorb the watercolor very well. And uh, someone had suggested to wet it first to kind of activate it. And, um, and I tried it, and it seemed to work. Donna thinks it works more than I think it did, but um, it, it I seemed think to it works great. So I'm trying that. So it seems that uh, wetting your paper first might help it absorb the. I've never had a problem with with uh, the the paper absorbing the watercolor before, but I've also don't use hot press very often. <clears throat> Sure All right, so that? do you see how how it, it wherever I painted it stayed it did not bleed because yes, the previous layer dried was dry. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna dry this now. So blow dryer. Okay, hold on. Okay, go ahead. No. Oh. Um, do you bring a blow dryer when you do art outside of I, the I house? I did when I went to Italy and I used it a few times because mm -hmm. I was kind of teaching a class. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But no, I don't really do it. Huh. In addition to art and watercolors, you've also awakened my love for historical leather medic bags used in various wars. The subtle differences are fascinating and speak for the different uses. That's really cool. Um... You may show us, Mahesh, your work. Please tag Scott. Otherwise, he will not see it because he gets so many um, DMs in a day. Uh, yes, we are going to hopefully put this into a poster so it will be made. Yeah, I think print. it'd be really kind of fun. A is for mm -hmm. Aha, B is for Bon Jovi. Yeah. yeah. Um, blood dryer. Hold on, let me move this over here. Go for it. Okay, any questions you have regarding the, the supplies that Scott's using, there's a list of all the supplies that he uses in the resources list on our um, website. Um, Jelly says, for others blow drying in between, be sure there is no water or puddles and it's soaked in or you'll get a mess. Yeah, you really have to practice with the, mm -hmm. um, the, the amount of water that you use. We have a doctor's appointment this morning. That's why we're leaving early. Do you think there's a definition to what art is or consists of? I've been thinking about this a lot lately. There's a video on what is art. Okay. I actually did think of blow dryer. Hold that thought. Go ahead. Good morning, Richard. How are you, friend? Um, I loved your painting on Annie Lennox. Richard's here. Oh, thank you. Hey, Richard. Um, does the blowing it dry do anything else besides making the paint dry? Like, does it affect it? In no, any other no, way? no. You, you you won't see anything in the um, like it doesn't change the the colors or anything like that. Please help. Can I use watercolors on cards? I want to paint a whole stack. Um. You'd have to try it. Depends on the cards. Um, there are specific cards that you can buy from the art yeah. store Look. that... You, go ahead. Okay. 
If you use the hair dryer after each layer, how do you blend the colors? I don't. I try to, uh, my personal style that I've been kind of developing is more of uh, seeing the individual layers, not blending them. I used to, in which case I didn't blow dry it. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's just yeah. me and what I'm trying to do with my style. Blow now, dryer. Please keep in mind, you can do something different with your art style. You do not have to paint the way Scott paints. Try something different, see if it works. Try the blow dryer, see if you like that. There's tons of different ways to do art, not just the way that Scott does it. So that's that's just something that that would be my two cents in the world is to try try it and figure out how what makes you the most happy. Yeah. Most important watercolor tip. Uh work light to dark. Mhm. Mm um we will be streaming again on Friday. Well, hi, Emily. We're happy you subscribed. Hey, Ellen's here. Hey, Ellen. Ellen's getting a late start today with a yawning emoji and a coffee cup. All right, blow dryer. Friend, I feel you. I feel you. Go for it. We are in the central time zone. <laughs> Dizzy owl, you're so funny. favorite Payne's gray in here yay Payne's gray so I can tag you in a story you should definitely do an art um, Scott's not gonna do an art critique um, but he will definitely see it should I get him gouache 24 set for $24 sounds like a good deal uh, Bethany's comment is perfect the way Scott does art is valid the way I do art is valid and they are nothing alike and that's okay yeah correct 100% correct and oh by the way um, you can do art it doesn't have to be painting or drawing it can be collage it can be writing it can be anything really yeah, it dance can, it, you know. it could be knitting it could be crochet you know yeah. fiber arts are, are art as well so you do you do what makes you the most happy you know you may not like something that's a um a travel journal that's a five by eight you might want a travel journal that's eight and a half by eleven you might want a bigger book to to draw in and that was the interesting thing that that we found when we were in venice is some people um Scott brings storytelling to the table, right? With his, you know, sketchbook. And so some people were um, still doing one whole page of a building. And that's okay too. Yeah. He was showing people how he did his sketchbook and how to put it together. And it really resonated for a couple of people. And they were like, hey, I want to do this. And, but you do you. And don't let anybody tell you that your art and the way you want to do it is not valid. Should I draw portraits only after learning perspective and anatomy? Um, you, you really don't need either of those to do portraits. Like what I'm doing, I'm not really utilizing anatomy much, you know? Um, you can really just, you wanna teach yourself to be a visual artist. You wanna be able to look at something and be able to draw it. So I would do the draw everything every day challenge. Scott, why do you wait for Donna's permission to use the hair dryer? Well, it is her hair dryer. <laughs> I did steal it from her. But uh, also, I am. Uh, we we thought you know what? It would be better if Donna muted me, uh -huh. muted my microphone when I blow dry. Mm -hmm. um, we thought it would be better for especially those who, like myself, are very sensitive to loud noises. Yeah. So um, it's really just a. Uh, she's I'm slow reading, on the uptake sometimes. I'm when reading I go, the comments. Yeah. And so a lot of times I'm not following along with the art. I'm reading the comment stream. So I can't see when he's ready to use the hair dryer. Yeah. So he'll go. I used to just shout blow dryer and hit the blow dryer. But yeah. people who were new didn't know why I was shouting blow dryer and that yeah. there was going to be a really loud noise. And yeah. so I just figured this is better for everybody. Yeah, especially because it does get tend to get really loud. 
Um, let's see. I started my first sketchbook. I'm using an old notebook that's not written in. Um, Scott, you've helped me make and create things again. I have to remind myself that there are no rules in art and I can hear your voice in the back of my head whenever I start doubting. Oh, I love that's it. Wonderful. Um, Scott's been drawing since he was six or seven years old. Um, what paper would you recommend for colored pencils? I like Bristol paper. I get the Strathmore mm -hmm. Bristol paper. Steph Nerd says, I'm a baker, so my art is entirely different. It has a life of maybe a day. Um, the way your dad eats cookies and stuff, I don't think it lasts a day, honey. Um, Elena says, me and Scott's styles are totally different. I do crochet art, and Scott is doing painting. Everyone's art um, is still beautiful. That yeah. is correct. 100%. Um, I really do want to speed things up. Are there any alternatives? Um, no. Unfortunately, you're going to have to learn patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fiber arts are art and baking is art and other, it, there's no limit to what art is. There just isn't. Um, yeah, gardening can be art too, Marjorie, and cooking and gardening, all of it can be art. What paper would you use for gouache? I like hot press paper. Doesn't matter what kind. Um, let's see. Do you know guts? Um, I don't even know what that is. G-U-T-S? Is that a band or something? No, I don't um, think I know them. <laughs> Steph says, I would be very sad if a cake I delivered lasted longer than a day. <laughs> um, let's see. How do you keep up with the work? If I was you, it takes a week maybe without the hair dryer. Oh, <laughs> you just gotta, I, I've, I've really kind of just trained myself to try to work as quick as possible. Um, so that way I can create content oh. every day. Catherine says, thank you so much for your videos. You've inspired me to pick up a brush again after 20 plus years. I really enjoy how informative, fun and honest your videos are. Oh, thank you. And Sydney says, you got me into watercolors. I've been looking to get a good sketchbook. I was wondering if the XL Canson 90 pound watercolor sketchbook is a good one to get for the price. I, I used to use that exclusively mm -hmm. for the first couple of years until I discovered yeah. the Be Creative. Mm -hmm. um, definitely check it out. Um, but for just like a dollar more, yeah. um, you, can, you can get what I consider the best, which is the Be Creative sketchbook, if you can find it. I get them at Blick. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, it is 10 o'clock, yeah, and um, so I'm about 80% done with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I will finish the rest of it when I get home from the doctors. Uh, mm -hmm. I am sorry for, it was just a scheduling thing. It was when we had yeah. it available, yeah. and uh, but uh, thank you all for hanging out with me. Yeah, um, Sun sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. That's really, you don't, you guys don't have to do that. Yeah. Um... Yes, I do have a channel. Um, maybe the mods can put the link to that in. But we're going to... All right, guys, we're going to head out now. And um, Mr. Clock had to get his two seconds in there of that. Thank you to the mods for being here today with us, you guys. And we will talk I'll, to you I'll on finish Friday. this and post a video later yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk Have to you. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. Have a great one, you guys. Bye-bye.